Welcome to the Doctors in Podcast. This video collaborates Doctors in with Hunter College's pre-health office to help guide you guys on your pre-health path. We know that the pre-med journey can be very confusing, so we decided to give you an overview and guidance. First, let's get to know your pre-health office advisors. So, who are they and what do they do? Your pre-health office advisors are Nina Letus and Camille Jackson. The pre-health office at Hunter College assists students in becoming a doctor. However, there are also healthcare and healthcare adjacent careers the office advises, including dentistry, optometry, podiatry, veterinary, and select health fields such as physical therapy, which is PT, physician assistance, which is PA, pharmacy, and occupational therapy. You can schedule appointments with pre-health advisors via Navigate, which is an online website or app you should use to schedule meetings with all of your advisors. Your login is the same as your CUNY login info. In this video, we will highlight the pre-med journey as a four-year undergraduate student, or it can be five or six years. We're not judging. To begin, pre-health students must develop basic knowledge of the sciences. In general, medical schools require two semesters of biology, two semesters of general chemistry, two semesters of organic chemistry, two semesters of physics, one semester of biochemistry, one semester of statistics, and one semester of calculus. And while there are no strict restrictions on what order to take these courses, the fundamental knowledge you will learn in biology and general chemistry will be needed in more advanced classes like organic chem and biochem. So plan to take biology and general chemistry earlier on in your pre-med journey. A nice bonus at Hunter is that if you choose any of these science majors, you will probably complete most of these prerequisites as you're fulfilling your major criteria. Some med schools want to be fancy and ask for specific course requirements, so check out their websites. All these classes will help you accumulate the knowledge you will need to succeed in the MCAT, which is the Medical College Admissions Test. The MCAT is a national exam that students must take before entering medical school, and this will test you on all your knowledge you learned throughout your undergrad. The MCAT is a 7 hour exam. Please do not run away and remain in your seats. Although it is a difficult exam, we believe in you. Really, we do. The good news is that the MCAT is administered several times a year. If you plan to take the MCAT in your senior year, prepare for a gap year. If you are more ambitious and plan to take the MCAT your junior year, you might not have to take a gap year if you are satisfied with your score. Knowing the MCAT is a very difficult exam, you need to do a lot of studying beforehand. Studying for the exam while also trying to maintain a high GPA in school will be difficult, so plan accordingly based on how well you are doing in your courses and how much you can personally manage. Be very mindful that your GPA is incredibly important for your applications and it's very easy for your GPA to decrease and very much harder for you to get it back up. Math is a little weird, I know. Outside of the classroom, pre-med students must pursue other extracurriculars. Some extracurriculars to consider at the start of your pre-med journey are shadowing, clinical volunteering, non-clinical volunteering, and research experience. Ultimately, the goal is to have 500 hours of clinical experience in addition to public service and research experience. All of these things will help demonstrate your leadership, medical competence, cooperation, and help build the fundamental skills that you will need to display before entering graduate programs. Remember that you want a stellar letter of recommendation from your supervisors. So stay focused and take the initiative. Another bonus tip, go to the office hours and talk to your professors. Believe it or not, they want you to succeed. Stay tuned to the Doctors in Podcast for more information about how to obtain these opportunities. We are on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Instagram, and Twitter at Doctors in Podcast. All right, I'm done with the shameless plugs, I promise. Now we're going to switch gears a bit and talk about the famous listserv. Register for the Hunter Pre-Health Listserv using your Hunter email. I'll repeat that again. Register for the Hunter Pre-Health Listserv. Look up Hunter College Pre-Health Listserv for the directions on how to do so. Via the Listserv, the Pre-Health Program will send you emails on opportunities. This includes scholarships, research, volunteering, and other initiatives directly related to healthcare. We're all Google experts here, which means you can be proactive and search for more opportunities on your own as well. The Pre-Health Office holds required workshops called PPAP, which stands for Pre-Health Professional Advising Pathway. This will help to prepare you for your pre-med journey. These workshops are termed PPAP 1000 and 1002. They occur every Tuesday and Wednesday from 2 to 3:50 p.m. Next, open your pre-health file, but 
what is a pre-health file? It is an ongoing record of your course evaluations and letters of recommendation that you will collect throughout your undergrad career. It also includes your official transcripts, your pre-health application, and contract which you will complete after completing the PPAP seminars. The pre-health file is used to determine your eligibility for receiving a committee letter, which is a letter given to you by the pre-health program that is required by certain professions graduate programs. Students will be evaluated on the quality of the pre-health file. To open a pre-health file, you must meet these three requirements. At least a 3.3 BCP Science Math GPA, 12 science credits, and an appointment to open your pre-health file. When ready, fill out and submit a pre-health application checklist allowing the pre-health office to review your pre-health application. To open the pre-health file, you must complete the PPAP required workshops. There is a list of all of them on the pre-health website. If you haven't noticed, a lot of the information being shared with you today is actually on the pre-health website. And if you missed something we said, you can always just come back to the video or you can find it on the Hunter Pre-Health website. Make sure to refer back to it because it will be very useful in keeping track of the requirements you must fulfill throughout your undergrad journey. What I'm about to tell you is very important. For the PPAP workshops, you must keep track of the names and dates of the events attended. Make sure to note when and which PPAP seminars you have attended because you will need all of this information when filling out the pre-health file application checklist. Students who intend to open a pre-health file should begin collecting course evaluations from instructions as soon as possible. Letters of recommendation cannot be collected until a pre-health file has been opened. Look up Hunter Course Evaluations or Hunter Letters of Recommendation to find the official forms you'll need to send to your recommender for these evaluations. Students must apply to open their pre-health file no later than their first semester of sophomore year at Hunter College. When you are ready to apply, there are two options to choose from, the letter packet and the committee letter. Now what is the difference? The committee letter is one large letter of recommendation written by the pre-health advisor based on the cumulative evaluations you have received and this letter is sent to medical schools on your behalf. The pre-health office will fact check your letter of recommendations such as your name being correct, the signature being provided and so on. Furthermore, the committee packet applicants will receive additional guidance from the pre-health office on their journey to graduate school. Now before you're applying to a committee letter, the pre-health files must be open for at least one academic year. If you're applying to the pre-health program as a junior or senior, your pre-health profession's graduate school application will be delayed, will be one gap year for juniors and two gap years for seniors. If you miss the deadline to open your pre-health file, you will not be eligible to receive a committee letter, so please be proactive. However, if you miss the committee letter deadline, you may still apply to receive a letter packet. A letter packet is a cumulative of all the letters of recommendation you have obtained. Now, to keep your pre-health file in good standing, you must do the following. Meet with the pre-health advisor at least once per semester and request at least one course evaluation or letter of recommendation per semester. Failure to do so will result in your file becoming inactive and unfortunately you will need to reapply to the program. Pre-health files remain open for up to three years after graduating from Hunter College. If you're a Hunter alum, we encourage you to add letters of recommendation to keep your pre-health file active after graduation. You might be wondering what the big deal is with a committee letter. Well, the requirements for the committee letter are very daunting, we understand that. But Hunter College applicants who successfully achieved the requirements for the committee letter currently stand at a 97% acceptance rate. This includes acceptance to medical, dental, optometry, and veterinary schools. So work hard, and if you successfully achieve these requirements, you might just have a 97% chance of getting into medical school. Hunter alums are saving lives, conducting groundbreaking research, and changing our healthcare community. So, my dear homo sapiens, are you going to be a part of our next generation of healthcare officials? Check out Dr. Zen for more helpful advice, efficient study strategies, and effective tips and tricks. Good luck on your journey and thank you for listening.